Okay, let's do a little bit more exploring. Moving super slow. Because, oh, there we go. Uh, we'll, we'll go back and talk with that dude. I heard you're working on some kind of mystery. I'd like to meet the sap that hired you. That got super, super loud all of a sudden. Like, what? Uh. You know, I'm in such a good mood. I think I'll just ignore that comment. How about answering a few questions? So let's, let's go ahead and get the asking around a bit. Nope. Drawing a complete blank. As you know, chocolate is everything to me. And the Coco Cabana is a dream come true. He doesn't know the code. Don't know a thing about it. I was about to, was about to say, why do we have that question? Now, probably because we have to ask him that question. It's a warehouse. What do you want me to say? I want you to say something about the warehouse. He's that new guy running the electronic shop. Wow, oh, okay, you're the wealth. The wealth of information. Can't say I've heard of it. Did you know that there's some kind of secret door that comes out of Rusty's fun house over by the warehouse? I saw the cops open it when they were there last week. Oh, well, now I guess it's time to go into the sewer. Wait, that's not what he said. I thought he said the sewer. Over by the warehouse. Oh, over by the warehouse. I just assume <laughs> the sewer's over at the warehouse. Oh, I wish I could help you. Totally unfamiliar to me. Well, this guy's a wealth of information. That's the name of the singer down at the Fuchsia Flamingo. The Flamingo seems like a decent club, but there's no chocolate on the menu, so, you know, why bother? <laughs> yeah, why bother? <laughs> Nilo, an open sore on the face of humanity. At one point, I had to choose between living at the Ritz and living in the dumpster. I took the lesser evil. Oh, is that why he was in the dumpster? That blood-sucking tightwad. He wanted me to pay rent for living in the dumpster outside of his pawn shop. That guy's a real gem. Hell of a cook. Chelsea's a nice girl. But whatever happened between us was over long ago. Don't let the torch she still carries for me stand in your way. Was it your co cocoa addiction? All right. You brought me a chocolate pie when I was on the skids. I'm indebted to you for the rest of my life. You're a god. Happy? Yes. No? Yes. Oh, I thought this was a cutscene. What? He proclaimed in a mighty voice, Woe be unto ye, eaters of flesh. Cursed are those who partake of the sausage patties and links and sizzling bacon. Cry for forgiveness, ye ingesters of honey-baked ham and all other manner of breakfast meats. <laughs> Got me, Gabe. You got me. <laughs> you got me. I've heard about Crazy Gary, but we've never formally met. He appears occasionally in some nook of Chandler Avenue, ranting wildly like a space-age Moses strung out on Demerol and bad scotch. I'm a... Uh... right out to him, saying, but these are turkey-based products. They will not harm us. And he said unto them, Yay, though turkey is the least of these, nonetheless. This gate opens towards the old Snow White warehouse. Oh, maybe that's what he was talking about. But anyway, we gotta go talk to, uh... We gotta go talk to this man <laughs> right now. You. No, not you, the one in the hat. Have you not come to be healed? Prime rib directive. Well, 
Now that you mention it, it's kind of hurt when I go like this. <sighs> then quit doing it. <laughs> <laughs> then, then quit doing it. Well, I'll be darned. You're right. That actually feels much better. Heal thyself, stranger. The path of regularity and low blood pressure is straight and narrow. Partake not of the flesh, especially red meat. And choose instead the bulk and fiber of cereals, fruits, vegetables, and especially grains. <laughs> I liked, I liked the sermon talking about the, the the badness of breakfast meats. I want to hear that one again. Well, how about I have a steak? but I wash it down with something grain-based, say a uh, double bourbon. Steak is the spawn of evil. Bourbon, however, is a different thing indeed. I myself prefer a fine single malt scotch. <laughs> this man, there is no character in this game from this point over forward that is better than this man. The game shot its shot super early. Everything's downhill from here. I can I still just end the game after talking to this man because nothing else will be as good. I'll tell you what. If I bring you a bottle of single malt scotch, will you answer some questions? For a bottle of single malt, I will not only answer your questions, I will bless your family for three generations. For now, I must return to my preaching. Sounds like a bottle of good scotch might loosen up Crazy Gary's tongue. I heard that Sal Lucido, the former owner of the Slice of Heaven pizza parlor, kept a first-rate stash of illegally imported booze somewhere on the street. Keep talking, sir. I want to hear some more. He's not preaching. I wanted to hear the preaching. Huh. Neat. Oh, that takes me out on this side. Oh, got you. Okay, well. <laughs> like I said, it's all down here from downhill from here. That guy, pretty good. Um, I'm sure somebody's gonna be like, get out. Is there no. Oh, I thought there'd be like a bouncer back here or something. This gate leads to the street. Oh, so there's just side streets everywhere that I can go. Oh. Ooh, what's this? Looks like a metal rod. Maybe an antenna. Sure, let's pick it up. This antenna isn't busted. I might be able to extend it. There we go. So we have an antenna. Can I open up that door? This must be the back door to the flamingo. I now I'm pretty sure if I open up that door, then I'm probably gonna get jumped and thrown out. So that's probably gonna take me to the other side unless this goes up to the back end of the Ritz, which probably it does. Or it's just This window looks to be slightly opened. All right, well, I probably should save it just in case. This window looks to be slightly open. That's... I wanted to open it. Oh, that just takes me into... into here. 
Oh, I wonder if this was ways... No, I was about to say, I was wondering if this was where I... <clears throat> ways I wouldn't have to... Like, pay the rent or something. But I'm pretty sure in order to talk to the guy and even have him... Tell me stuff, I would have to pay the rent, so... I feel like that's not... A thing. Do I want to try and go into... Do you want to climb this ladder? Yes. Ugh. Ooh, this looks gross. I think I'll let that box float right where it is. Oh, we're walking through the sewer. Okay, I thought that limb reached out for me. Ha! <laughs> Wait. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, no. Is this a... This, okay, this isn't a maze. A play buff. Oh, gross. This magazine is filthy. I'll never get all the sewage off it. <laughs> this magazine is filthy. I'll never get it off it. Well, so once we hit a certain area, then it just, like, goes super fast. Did I just go backwards? What's that? This looks like the kind of money belt the drug dealers are wearing these days. Oh, did I just get more money? This looks like the kind of... No, pick it up. Ooh, how much should I get? I think I could put this money to a more productive use than any drug dealer could. Brave D. <laughs> Inventory, how much do I have? 1700 Well, that's 300 so... There's nothing else under it. Sure. Did I just make a full circle? No, this is Rooks. Oh, there is a manhole cover over here. Huh. Yeah, the fire escaped in nowhere. Alright, well... So, we have to find Louis' alcohol. We need to get... Um, I have a feeling we're going to have to pay this dude 300 for that stupid code. I guess we'll talk to him. Hello. What do you want? I'm busy here. Um... There's something I forgot to ask you. I figure I've paid you enough already, so you owe me. Well, you figured wrong. You're off by about 500 bucks. But what? Come on, Nilo. You've cleaned me out already. I haven't even got enough money left to buy food. Oh, boo-hoo-hoo. -hoo. Here, let me give you some back. Ah, you didn't say the magic word. What a sap. So, uh, what do you want to know? How to spot a sucker a mile away? <laughs> sucker a mile away, I like that. Oh, whew. thought I was actually going to have to pay him 500 I was about to throw my computer out the window. <laughs> Ask about the apartment. Nyla looks around like he's about to sell some government secret and then lets me take a peek in his special notebook. The code is 4827. Oh. I didn't have to pay any money. Um. I wonder if giving him the wallet's part of the good, bad, or whatever thing, so... Ah, got a whole new respect for you, Snotface. 
So yeah, that would make sense. What did he say the code was? I was not listening. Uh, then I don't have it up there. I should have been listening. Do, do I have it in my inventory? <laughs> no. Hopefully he tells it to me when I go up there. Okay, was it four eight two seven? Sweet, her. I like wasn't listening, and I still got. Like it's full of molasses. Yeah, another swell case for San Francisco's favorite punching bag. I suppose the fact that someone knocked me out must mean I'm on the right track. Yeah, whoever hit me did a thorough job. Must have interrupted his search of the apartment. Maybe that means he overlooked something. What is it with Tex and getting brained nonstop? But that was the murderer, dude. So... Oof. Whoever furnished the Ritz must have bought credenzas in bulk. And a few plastic plates and cheap silverware. Aloy must have taken the good china with him. Well, now I gotta look down. Okay, look down. There we go. Open up all the drawers. Hmm. Envelope. Yeah, looks like a business card. Hmm, looks like a business card. Hmm, Metal Gear. Yeah, it's an old photograph. This dude must have missed, like, a ton of things. Like, did we get in here as soon as he got in here? And... Nice wastebasket. Alright, well, let's take a look at the things we got. Hmm. Reagan Ages. That's what it's supposed to be. This warehouse is just down the street from the Ritz. We'll store your junk. I hope so. Uh. Whoever wrote this has worse penmanship than I do. Either that, or it's written in some weird language. Well, let me guess. We're going to have to decipher to weird language. The label on the box says it was shipped from Mexico. The label on the... Right, what's in here, then? This guy really didn't get to look at anything, did he? Hmm. Airport of the Gods. My Uncle Marty owned a whole series of these books. Go-Karts of the Gods, Lunch of the Gods. I loved this book when I was a kid. Aliens, spaceships, mysterious structures. Then I grew up and realized it was all a load of crap. Hmm. 
No play, Bob. I never look at these personally, but I do remember this one. It was the Amazon Woman edition featuring 37 pages of full color pictures. Nice. But he never looks at it, folks. Reads only for the articles like everybody else. Man, what's this? Looks like a scarf. Ooh, this scarf reeks a cheap perfume. I guess Malloy must have had a lady friend in for a visit. And if the lady friend wore this scarf anywhere else in the neighborhood, she'd be pretty hard to forget. Maybe I should show this thing around and see what I can find out. Mm, Ooh. Strong. Assuming Chelsea may know about that. These boxes are empty. I wonder what they're doing here. They're uh, being empty there. That's what they're doing there, Tix. That's what they're doing there. Now there's no lock on the drawer. This looks like a pawn ticket of some kind. Oh, I see. Examine. Looks like Rook did some business with Mr. Malloy. I wonder if Rook could let me redeem this receipt. Who am I kidding? He'll do anything if the price is right. I wonder if since I paid off my debt if he'll let me do that. Looks like a letter. I wonder who this David Wright is. More importantly, if Malloy's been to his cabin in Oregon. All right. Uh, dear Thomas, I was delighted to receive your letter after all these years. It sounds as though your work is progressing well, and I look forward to having a few of our all-night discussions, just like the old days. You've certainly welcomed to, you're certainly welcome to stay at my cabin as long as you'd like. It's extremely secluded, a perfect place to get away from prying eyes. I can't meet you for at least a week, but I'll get there when I can. In the meantime, there's a key uh, to the door under the brick by the front steps. I'm assuming we're going to end up going out of San Francisco now? I've come across an item I think you'll, quite, you'll find quite interesting. I look forward to working out an exchange of information. The cabin is located exactly 8.4 miles south-southwest from a small town in Oregon called Salmonberry. You'll probably need to find a good map. It will be good to see you again. Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser, I do say. Is there anything else? Don't think so. This bed looks hard enough to tap dance on. Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Um, control? Yeah. That's how I go onto the floor. I hit control. Nope. That's not what I wanted to do. Oh, man. Chelsea's gonna kill me. I didn't realize how long I was out. God, almost 16 hours. I was out cold straight through our dinner date. She's never gonna believe me. I mean, wouldn't you have, like, a wound on your head or something to indicate that you were, I don't know, knocked out? What are you eyeing me for? What are you eyeing me for, bro? You want something? I guess we're... Oh, she's not there. Or is she there? No, she's not there. That's no good. Oh, Chelsea's not at the newsstand. That's strange. I wonder if she's at her apartment. What's... Where's her apartment? There's... Does she live at the hotel? Where does she live? I don't... I don't know. I can't go... I can't go say hello. I don't know where she is. Is she in here? How's your case coming along? Anything I can do to help? Uh, no. Not yet. That I know of. I'm just trying to find Chelsea. Unless she's just gone. Uh, 
Um, I guess our next step would just be to go talk to Rook, right? I'm just running around like I... Or maybe we can check out. It's been 16 hours. Maybe I have $100 up in my... My mail. Because of the mailbox thing. Let's see. We do know we have to go talk to Rook, and then we have to ask around about the scarf. Is there mail sitting? There is. Come on, back up. Ooh, piece of mail. And for once, it doesn't look like a past due notice. Prize letter. One hundred dollars. We did it. We're we're up to. Hello, my baby. We're in the money. All right, so we need to go talk to Rook. We need to ask about the scarf. Let's go talk to Rook first. And then we need to ask people about the scarf. And then we need to figure out how to translate an untranslatable thing. Or, I say it's untranslatable, but... I don't know. Hey, Rook. Back again, Murphy. If you're here to ask for another loan, you can forget it. No, I want to ask about... Or do I just give him the thing from the... The pawn shop? I need to redeem this receipt. You didn't pawn this. Well, how much is it? Look, I'm willing to pay extra. Two hundred dollars. Yep, plus fifty dollars for it not being your receipt. Do we pay him two? I guess we kind of have to, so... Well, I hope my new purchase will help me out. What did I just get? A black dagger. So this is the item Malloy pawned. I'm no expert, but this thing looks pretty ancient. I wonder where it came from. Huh. Of course I've heard about it. I just doubt I know any more about it than you. That imbecile. He's been trying to make problems for Louis. He doesn't eat meat and thinks anyone who does is a barbarian. Moron. Well, if it wasn't for me, he'd still be camping out in the dumpster. I told him I was going to charge him rent, and he moved up to Coit Tower. Well, I don't know where he got the money to open his chocolate stand. He probably stole it. Hmm, probably. Um, he... Oh, shut Oh, I thought, uh I thought he was going to say more. So he doesn't know about... Anything, but we do have the dagger, so let's see if we can combine stuff in our inventory. We have a ton of stuff in our inventory. Or I guess it's only this stuff. Uh, I'm just seeing if we can combine anything. Probably not really. Oh, yeah, I don't think we're to that point yet, I guess. Um, the only thing I can do is ask about the scarf. And I guess the guy to ask would actually be... Um, Nilo. Because he's the one who sees everybody going up and down the place. So let's ask him real quick. Then we'll end the episode. Oh, please don't tell me he's going to charge me more money. <laughs> Como esta, pea brain? Must be nice now you don't need to sneak in through the back. So, what do you want? Oh, we can just we can just talk now. Sweet. Um, the scarf. 
I'm getting tired of you asking about things I ain't never heard of. Okay, so he doesn't know about that. So when we come back, we're going to have to figure out who knows the scarf. We need to figure out about the dagger. We need to figure out where to go. Let me see if we have a travel thing now. Oh, we, we can go to Chelsea's apartment. Oh, and we can go to different places. The cabin. Oh, we can fast travel to... What? Huh. All right, so when we come back, I guess we'll go to Chelsea's place, talk to her. We have the cabin we can look at, and I guess we can figure other stuff out. So till then, y'all take care, and of course, have a good one. <laughs>